narcissists will lose their minds if you do this. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Before I begin, please give it a thumbs up down below so that it will help the YouTube algorithm to get this message out there to other survivors who need it. If you do what I am about to describe in this video, the narcissist will go crazy. They will start behaving in a silly and strange way. They will become extremely foolish, which is why you do need to be cautious if you do decide to do any of the following things, because they will lose their minds. So you need to ensure that you are safe and that you're dealing with a narcissist who has at least some level of standards. A narcissist who is not high on the spectrum, not malignant or extremely dangerous. A narcissist who is not actively seeking to wipe you out. Because if you are dealing with this type of narcissist, you should not be watching this video, as it may put you at risk of danger or harm. With that being said, here are five things that you can do to cause the narcissist to lose their mind. Number one, let them know that you know. Let them know that you're onto them, but don't tell them. Just start acting differently towards them. To let them know that you've discovered what is beneath their mask. Because when they know that you know just how toxic and inadequate they are, and how they have a fragile ego and a weak sense of self, it's game over for them. And it will drive them insane. Because their fragile ego and weak sense of self is dependent on their ability to manipulate you. And to make you believe in things about them that are not true. So when you let them know that you see right through them, it's like sunlight to a vampire. It destroys their facade and they can't hide anymore. 2. Stop reacting to them. They will try to bait you. They will try to hook you. They will intentionally try to make you angry or upset by saying or doing things to annoy you. They will do anything to lure and entrap you. But if you resist their attempts and you remain non-reactive, it will drive them insane because they need your emotional reactions. They need drama and chaos in order to feel alive. It's very important to them because in their sick, twisted minds, it reminds them that they are special and important and that they are superior to you which is why it's essential for them to have a target to project all of their guilt, shame and self-hatred onto. Which is why they will make critical statements to take unfair advantage of your weaknesses or vulnerabilities and they will make personal attacks. And it's because they're trying to project everything that is dark and weak about themselves which is difficult for them to accept. The parts of their psyche that they keep hidden and deny. Their suppressed emotions which are hidden deep within their subconscious. But when they try to dump all of this onto you and you don't react, resist or oppose them and instead you give them a blank stare where you seem bored or disinterested in what they're doing then they are unable to affect you. Which means that they won't get their narcissistic supply because you're not giving them your energy or emotion. And instead they're left to keep their own source of pressure from where they were attempting to persuade or coerce you into responding to them. Which is how it should be because their emotional instability is not your responsibility. They don't want to own, accept or acknowledge these uncomfortable truths about themselves. So instead they try to get you to roll around in the mud with them 
But when you refuse to do that, and instead you remain unemotional and non-reactive, they're unable to dump their negative energy and emotions onto you. So they don't get to feel the release of their pain and distress onto you. And then they feel powerless. They feel completely inadequate and ineffective. And nothing will make that narcissist lose their mind faster than when they realize that they've lost their power over you. Three, bring them back to reality. Narcissists live in a delusion, in an alternate world of their own making. So when you speak the truth and you're honest, it pulls them out of their fantasy and it brings them back to the reality, which is another thing they hate and despise. And it's why they create a false narrative where things are whatever they want them to be rather than how they actually are. Because they know that the truth and reality puts them at a disadvantage. It strips them of their power and control over you. And it's like sunlight to a vampire. Because they're of a very low consciousness. So they're normally asleep in their land of make-believe. Where they're imagining things to be different than they really are. Which is why you don't even have to say a word. Just being around them when you're carrying that truth inside of you is enough to shake them up because it threatens to expose them. They're comfortable with lying and deceiving people. So when they come across a genuine, honest person, it's strange and unfamiliar to them. And it makes them feel very uncomfortable, especially when you tell them the truth. Because most people don't have the strength to say it to them. Which is why if you do, it has the power to make them disappear very quickly. Because they just can't be around it. They feel more comfortable in their alternate reality where they can be delusional. If you're finding this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below very important as it does help our community. Thank you. Number four, compare them to someone else. Narcissists are always making comparisons. They have a compulsion to compare themselves to other people to determine their relative importance because to them, life is a competition that they must win at all costs. And they are in a competition with everyone including people in their own family. They will be in competition with their own children, especially the child that they have appointed as their scapegoat, because it validates their false image and their weak sense of self. Their self-worth is tied to other people or external circumstances. It is determined by their physical appearance, social status, possessions, their level of, of authority and control, and their connections with other people. Which means that it is easily threatened because it's dependent on external circumstances where they must have a competitive advantage. The only way a narcissist can feel good about themselves is by comparing themselves to other people and then feeling superior to them because they cannot cope if the shoe is on the other foot and if they are seen as inferior to another person. Five, go no contact. Stop giving them your attention. Don't answer their phone calls. Don't respond to their texts. Don't even read what they have to say. When you do that, you will be starving them emotionally and they will lose their minds. But if you can't ignore them, just don't take anything they do or say seriously. Because that's really what they want. They want to be considered. They want to be thought of carefully. As though they're worth being thought of. But when you take a step back and you see them as they actually are. And you realise that they're not bringing anything of value to your life. You become indifferent. You don't really care anymore. 
You engage with them without serious thought. Because you know it's just going to go in one year and out the other. It's not going to result in a significant implication. And instead it's just going to be met with more chaos, drama and bullying. So you learn to recognise their true value and level of importance. Based on the amount of value you're likely to get from an interaction with them. You recognise that you're dealing with a toddler in an adult's body. Someone who believes they have more power, wealth or intelligence than they actually have. Because all they have is stories. Expressions of their feelings and opinions that are intended to demonstrate their good character. When really it's just their ego. Which is why when you go no contact it destroys their illusion of significance. Because all they really have is tactics which they use to manipulate your perception. Thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful you can give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and hit that subscribe button and click all notifications to be notified of my future videos. If you would like to support the channel you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one on one with me on my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in another video very soon.